side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He lets it fly. And he hauls it in deep downfield. The 10. Touchdown, FSU. And he tacks on the extra point. Florida State gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He makes it to the 18-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He throws a dart to the right. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. Dumps it out left to the running back. The tackle made at about the 41. That brings him second to nine. Makes it out to about the 49. They try to get a head start there. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. Slings it. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. I think a key in being able to throw a good screen pass is the quarterback selling it, looking downfield as if he's going to throw the ball downfield, knowing he's about to retreat and just dump it to his running back. So I think the quarterback is the key, being able to time it up, wait for that pressure to get to him, and then wait to the last possible second to deliver the football to the receiver or running back. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Bryant comes away with two yards on the quarterback keeper. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Dumps it complete over the middle. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. A pickup of four on the play. He executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Bowers to punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. 
This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Florida State is up seven. Gets it out quickly. Run down at the 22-yard line. right there to knock it away. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers, so that was a really good effort. Gore is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Big opening. Makes it to the 31. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Taken down at the 30. The cavalry's coming. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Third and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start. Offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. Fourth and 15 after the penalty. It's up, looks long enough. So the junior kicker isn't able to put it through. So the score is still 7-0 FSU. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Florida State is up a score. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Laterals back, and there's nobody near him. Knocked out of bounds at the 45-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Second and 13. Ball on the 48-yard line. He scrambled. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. They need to get it down to the 35. He's out of bounds around the 41 yard line. Stewart 
is back deep to return. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Florida State's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. Makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Caught open field, and he's taken down around the 26-yard line. the stop around the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, first down. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Around the 15-yard line. Lewis picks him up six yards with a catch. Has some daylight. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. Touchdown, Notre Dame! And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 79-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. We're even at seven in this one. Notre Dame is ready to kick it away. He'll return it from the one. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 33.
throws it to the outside. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. He has to make better decisions than that. He should have known that there was no room to squeeze that ball in there. We've played one. We get a tie game at 7-7. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 36-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick strike, and he drops it. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He's to the 40. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And he's hit immediately. At about the 49. Let's go, G. Hey, look, 48. And he's tackled right away. Second and 13. Ball on the 48-yard line. Catches it, and that's all. Tailback and he dropped it. Keys was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it worth an inning. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Tackle at the 17. Great job by the cover guys getting downfield to really limit the return to next to nothing. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's brought down in the open field. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Just throws this one away. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. You know, 
as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Complete, what a catch. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 35. That's a game of four. That'll bring up 36. They come out in a five-wide set. He's scrambling. And down he goes at the 22. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Got his receiver. Touchdown. He hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. outside for a nice game. And he tackles him hard at the 30-yard line. Awaits the snap. And down he goes at the 39. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Florida State is up by a touchdown. 
Makes the catch and look out. He's at midfield. And they push him out around the 44-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. There he goes. He's taken off. Slides down. down at the 23-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Throw. He's taken down right around the 14-yard line. They had a long, long way to go, and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down. Now he's flushed, and they got it. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Florida State up seven points. Nice run there. That brings us third and ten. Throws it in a hurry. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. They'll line it up for the field goal. Florida State is hoping to make this a two-score game. He gets it up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Stewart fields it at the three. Whoa, he just took a lick it. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Gets out to around the 32. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He throws left. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. We've still got a half of football remaining. Florida State's got a 10-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. 
The halftime lead is not insurmountable for this squad. And, you know, there are a lot of times when you watch the first half of the game and you start talking about mental toughness and, and energy and effort and all of those types of things. You get the sense this is more of an X and O deal for the coaches. A couple of minor adjustments that could really change the game in the second half. Yeah, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it's broke, it needs to be fixed. And there's some things that you definitely see offensive and defensively that these teams need to be sharper. They need to be crisp. They need to find an edge. Maybe they need to go more up-tempo. Maybe they need to pass the football a little bit more. Defensively, maybe you need to be a little bit more aggressive. This is this is one of those things where coaches have to feel out. They have the feeling out process. They have to feel what you do well, what you're not doing well. Sometimes you need to completely go in a different direction. You're down two scores. Something good has to happen. You need to change what you've been doing because it hasn't worked. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Schmidt fields at the goal line. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The Seminoles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The misdirection play gets him four yards. That makes it second and six. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. some miscommunication there they can't get the playoff and it'll cost them a few so the penalty will make it first and 15. there's a strike complete knocked out of bounds at the 40 yard line they gained five yards there not a bad play they gained five yards out of it they keep moving the defense back Makes his way to about the 48. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. That's a game. That makes it second and two. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. From the 33-yard line, second down. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Gets out to about the 31. running back's got it and he's 
level at the 15. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. it out to about the eight yard line. Tackle right around the eight yard line. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room earlier with an injury, and unfortunately, it looks like he could be sitting out the rest of this one. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Williams is lined up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Florida State is up seven. Scrambling around. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. Decent run here, right side. That's a team of seven. That makes it first and ten. He's on the run. And they get nice yardage on that run. Makes it to the 44. And he is drilled at the 40. complete he's got room to work and he's tackled around the 34 yard line personal foul face mask defense concentration laps right there the coaches will be giving them an earful for it too from the 19 yard line first down Makes it to the 11. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Florida State is up a score. Johnson gets the call again. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. They'll knock him down for a loss. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup and come out a bit more motivated next time. From the four-yard line, second down. He scrambled. Touchdown, Seminole! That's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. 
And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They try to get a head start there. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. And he hits him hard at the 36. made the 39 yard line they're eating up a lot of field on this drive i'm really impressed with their ball control he might have a chance he makes his way to about the 28. Some pickup. They'll bring him down at the thirteen. From the thirteen yard line, it's first down. Tackled after positive yardage. And down he goes around the eight yard line. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper, a loss of one. Third and five coming up. Ball on the eight-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Passes and it's almost picked off. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. The kick is up and it's through the uprights. Notre Dame ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Seminoles had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you can say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Makes it to the 37. goes out of bounds the 37 yard line
It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 24-13, Seminole. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds around the 36-yard line. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on the 36-yard line. Throws out and a leaping interception by the corner. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. From their own 39-yard line, first down. down after a nice run up the middle. There he goes. Tackle that side after a nice pickup. Down around the 40 yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36 yard line. Taken down at about the 35. And they push him out around the 29 yard line. run to the left there. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Quick out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled at the 10-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Up the middle for a nice game. push by the line in a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. 
So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Fires it out. They don't get it. It was a 12-play, 60-yard drive, but the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Williams looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. He's going to try and scramble. Good tackle there in space. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And the defense gives up some Still free yards down. to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and ten. Ball on the 49. And a quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Under heavy pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Off the fence. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third and even longer now after the penalty. Quick pass. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. About five yards on the screen. He executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Gore awaits the snap. Stewart takes it the 14, and he's hammered down. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Just under two minutes in the game. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. Throws it to the outside. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From their own 48-yard line. First down. the 39 tackle at 
the 47. frustration by that offense but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down and they'll need a prayer here to keep this game alive zips it to the back well that one should do it a fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game this might be it they've got the lead but if they add to it they know they've got a victory his way to the 49-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. We have less than a minute to go. Nice run, and he's brought down. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. Notre Dame's out of timeouts. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Gets out to around the 38. We had a fight to the finish here today. 24-19, Seminole. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.